Hi Camps, what's up? Your English Don is here. Ask me any question if you dare to. Today I'm gonna answer another question and this question has been sent by Abnormal Man. He says, number two, going there I attended the meeting. Here going is a or an. Okay another good question from Abnormal Man. Now let's find it out and try to answer the question. Going there I attended the meeting or did I have uploaded one video long video on gerund and participle it is more than 20 minutes but you will be highly benefited if you watch the video because here I have talked about the theoretical part and also lots of examples probably 11 examples I have discussed and another way you can watch like if you know if you need the theory then i have cut it out and made it separated then i upload it so you can watch both of the ways but you have to watch if you want to understand it clearly still i'm talking the thing is that verb plus ing if it becomes noun or it ind indicates noun verb plus ing if it becomes noun then it becomes gerund and verb plus ing if it indicates an adjective then it will be participle participle okay what participle present participle you know present participle past participle perfect participle we have this way so it will be present participle verb plus ing if it indicates an adjective it could be verb too i'm coming to that the first one i have talked that is verb plus ing if it indicates a noun then it will be a gerund this is the primary thing everybody knows it Secondary, uh, second one is like verb plus ing, then if it indicates an adjective, then it will be a participle. We know this one. Number two, second number rule, that is gerund can take an object and participle can be used as a verb. For example, if I say I'm writing. Here writing is directly a verb. So this is present participle. Third one we will apply here that is if we can remove the word from the word from the sentence and if it gives the meaning still if it gives the meaning or if it can give the meaning then it will be a participle but if we can't if we can't remove the word from the sentence then it will be a gerund for example swimming is a good exercise here in this sentence swimming we can't remove swimming out of the sentence we can't so this is gerund but now look at this one going there this we, we can consider this one as a phrase but in modern English they say this one as a clause okay phrase or clause whatever it is you can omit it you can remove it still you get the meaning like i attended the meeting okay i attended the meeting up to this if you write it still you get the answer it means it is removable so this is a present participle another thing is that look at this this one what part of speech there there definitely an adverb here in this sentence right there is an adverb so adverb can modify home noun no definitely verb so this is participle because ing form it could be verb too like i'm writing i'm writing here this is present participle so this one going this is also here acting like a verb so this is actually adverb and adverb can modify a verb this way also we can uh, understand that this is not a gerund this is a participle so let me sum up probably i didn't write all the things because on gerund and participle i have talked elaborate so please watch that video if you want to understand clearly okay that watch that video so what i wanted to say that is 
We can identify or differentiate between gerund and participle in three conditions we can apply. That is verb plus ing, it will be a noun. Then it will be a gerund, verb plus ing. If it becomes an adjective, then it will be participle. Then number two, gerund can take an object, participle can be used as directly as a verb. Gerund is not removable from the sentence, but participle is removable from the sentence most of the times. Okay, so that way you can identify what is uh, is this a gerund or participle. Look at this, going here up to this up to this part. You can say it phrase. You can say it clause. Whatever it is in modern English clause in like traditional English we say phrase whatever it is we can remove it so this is actually a participle another way this is adverb an adverb can modify a verb not an not not a noun so this is participle I hope you understood still if you didn't then watch the previous video which one I mentioned and then if you didn't understand still then comment I will try to clarify it writing Lots of examples. Last but not the least, love your country, do something for the humanity. Bye.